Now, right off the top, I want to apologize if I start acting a little weird tonight, because I'm kind of shaken up because I, I was in a car wreck this week. I was in a car wreck on Mercer. Now, there's a first, right? <laughs> the other guy was so happy when he saw me get out of the car because he knew there'd be no doubt in anyone's mind who was at fault. It was basically... <laughs> Paramedics left, the emergency room people were like, all right, what are you trying to pull? Where's the camera? We don't have time for this. I actually, I was fine. I just had that little, that delayed shock reaction you get. You know, after the car had been towed away, I was started to think, did I leave the magazines and videos in the trunk? <laughs> did I tune the radio off KVI to a hipper station? <laughs> Then I had to give the statement to the insurance. Yeah, you know, I was driving down Mercer. In what direction? Well, it only goes one direction. Was, I was on Mercer. Well, I'm in Ohio, sir. Okay, well, think of the most screwed up street in your state and then double that. That would give you some idea. The weirdest thing was that moment right before impact when the, everything starts to slow down and my life flashed before my face and I saw Cindy Reinhardt and Dan Lewis and then... I realized, wait a minute, this is Ken Schramm's life. What is this like? What a, what a jip. And then, boom. Anyway, did anyone stop to see if we were all right or hurt or anything? No, it just right onto the freeway. And I was just, because traffic has gotten so vicious here. Now, you might have seen in the news last week that the state legislature has proposed a measure to make road rage a crime. It's, it's true. If you, if you act out violently or yell at another driver twice within five miles, you could be arrested. I, uh, no, it's true. This has to be the only part of the country where uh, a law against yelling in traffic could be debated with a straight face. <laughs> I mean, by definition, everyone in New York, they're already guilty. <laughs> anyway, they're talking about criminalizing road rage in Olympia, but they are carving out some exceptions to the law. We thought you might be interested. For example, the 520 bridge is a free zone. <laughs> also, traditional driving customs in Ballard will be exempt as they are an important part of Scandinavian culture. You may flip off anyone in a BMW, provided it is a 500 series or above and has a personalized license plate. All right. Yeah. Very popular law there. Some validation for that one. When you're merging from 520 to, to the Mercer exit and no one lets you in, a single flesh wound is permissible. In Wallingford, it's required to get out every five blocks and hug a pedestrian. And finally, anything goes if someone steals the parking space you were waiting for at Oak Tree Cinemas. <laughs> Sounds like a good law there. Well, we have a lot on the show tonight, but before we go any further, we want to pause for this important update from the Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan. Here are our special correspondents.